The first thing that you want to do when we're talking about our blog post is go to remsenstmarys.org. Once you're there, go ahead and go to the Academics tab and go down to my website. It'll load it up for you. From here, you'll want to click on your section, so geometry for us. Then I want to go to kid blogs. There's, it's blue and underlined, so I know it's a link. That's going to open up the kid blog login. Sorry, I was already logged in, so it automatically comes up with. So this is what it will come up to. Notice that if I were to just go to kidblog.org, you're required to use an email and a password, but if I go from the link based on my website, it's gonna take me right there and I can select my name and then log in using the password. The number sign, one, capital H-E-C-T-O-R. And I'll show you where you can go in order to change your password so it's something that you remember. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Your screen will look a little bit different just because I have the administrative side. So your screen will look like this when you log in. I'm then going to click on my account or my name in the right hand corner. From there, the old password, so type in the number one Hector, and then type in your new password, whatever you want it to be. Preferably, I would put it something as an email that you use so you know what the password is, and then update your profile. So we're going to talk about the Creative Commons. Um, I would like you to look at my blog. So if I'm looking at the site here, I'm in the All Blogs, scroll down and click Last Page. I'd like you to read Blogs 101 and watch this video about Creative Commons. It's going to talk about what is appropriate and what is not appropriate to use whether it's illegal or not. So they talk about using Creative Commons pictures. And with that, I'm gonna show you some places where you can go and find some Creative Commons pictures. The first one is to go to Google. So say for instance, I want a picture of a hedgehog. I'm gonna type in hedgehog in the search. I'm gonna click on images. So a bunch of images come up, but these I cannot take legally. I need to click on the options, then advanced search. From there, I need to scroll down and look at the filter or the usage rights. You aren't going to probably be modifying or using this commercially. You're just going to be using this for your blog posts. You'll click free to use or share, and then go ahead and click on your advanced search. These are the photos that you can legally take and put somewhere else. So say for instance, I want to use this picture. I'm going to visit the page where this is from. So from visiting this, I can then download this onto my computer. Notice they give you the Creative Commons Attributions Share Alike option down there at the bottom. So, and when I click on it, I know who took this picture and I can cite where I got it from. So for instance, if I were to download this picture onto my computer and then post it to my blog, I'm going to say underneath of it, photo by the username retrieved from, you can put Google Creative Commons. If you want, you can use Flickr and use that Creative Commons. So if I want to go ahead and use my hedgehog, 
For some reason, even though you're under the Creative Commons, it doesn't show that right away. You actually need to change your license to Creative Commons only. It'll come up with new images. So say I want to use this one. I go ahead and download it. And then when I use my attribution, when I upload this, I'm going to say photo by Mark Fletcher, retrieved from Flickr. Okay, so going back to your kid blog, you're going to create a new post. You're going to give it a catchy title. You're going to write at least two paragraphs, upload a picture, and make sure it's cited properly. So your topic is what did you do this summer? Okay. So in order to upload a file, see how it says upload insert media? I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to select a file from my computer. Now it's probably something that you've already um, saved from your Google search or your Flickr search. You're going to go ahead and upload that. Um, I have some pictures. I don't remember exactly where they're from just because this is from a while ago. So it's going to upload my picture. I'm then going to center it. That's just how I always like doing it. I'm going to insert into post. My picture's there. Underneath of it, I'm going to say photo by whoever it's by. And then I'm going to say retrieved from for instance, it'll either be Flickr or Google Creative Commons. Okay. Once you get your two paragraphs and your photo into your post and you have your catchy title, you're going to publish. And that's your assignment for tonight. You need to complete this by tomorrow before class.